Turn it. One more time, turn it. Stop. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're looking good. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik, holding it down one more time for PinnacleStudioPro.com. Yeah, I get a lot of questions for people that want to rotate their videos because they taped it upside down. They were using their phone to tape it and they can't figure out how to rotate their video to get it the right way. So I'm going to show you how to rotate that video and I'm going to show you how to get your videos right side up in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. Let's get into it. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. Before we jump off into this rotate thing, I want to remind you of a few things. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on that, okay? It lets people know that the content in these videos are good and that they should watch them. Comments, leave me your comments and I'll give you answers. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. Subscribe. Subscribing is very important, it is vital. Because if you do not subscribe, you'll be missing out on the chunky, funky goodness that I bring you for Pinnacle Studio and you won't know when I upload a new video. So subscribe and you'll be in a no. All right, let's go. As you can see, I got two clips down in the timeline. The first clip I got here is flipped upside down. The world has gone top set turvy. The world has gone top set turvy. So if I play this, you'll see that everything's just upside down and it's not a good look, all right? It's just not a good look. You gotta have things flip the right way around. The second one is a clip where things are just a little bit special, okay? Sideways, things are just a little bit special on this video. So we gotta change this one and rotate it because it's on its side, it's, it's sideways, okay? So. I'm gonna start off by saying there are a bunch of different ways to flip video in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate, all right? Just know that. I'm gonna show you the way that I like to do it and the way that I think is the quickest way to do it. You can flip it a different way. If you like to do it a different way, leave the way that you do it down in the comments so that other people know the way that you like to flip your video, all right? Or rotate your video or whatever the heck you wanna call it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this first clip and I'm gonna right click on it. And I'm gonna go to rotation. Now you can select rotate right, rotate left, or custom. In this circumstance, I'm gonna select custom. So when I click on custom, it's actually gonna open the 2D editor advanced effect it's going to change it to no preset and it's gonna open up the rotation uh, uh, selection. So it did everything for me except pick how much I wanna rotate the video. Now since this video is upside down, I know how much I need to rotate it, 180 degrees. But you have the option of using the slider to rotate it or you can type in the number. So I'm just gonna type 180 and hit enter. And now my video is flipped right side up. So now all I need to do is click on okay. So now when I play this video, you see everything is flipped in the correct orientation and the world is brought back to normal, sir. All right, so now we have a video that is flipped at 90 degrees. So for this one, we want to flip it to the side so that it is orientated correctly as well. So I'm going to right click on this one. I'm going to go to rotation. And on this one, I'm going to pick rotate left. Now when I do that, it's not gonna open up any editor, it's just gonna rotate it once to the left. 90 degrees, boom. And now 
we're good to go. So if you got a video that's a little special, a little sideways, then you can pick rotate right or rotate left and it won't open up any type of effect editor. It'll just make that quick rotation for you, which is cool. Now, what I don't like about these phone videos that are done like straight up and down like this is you get black bars on the side. So I don't want black bars on the side of my video. I want to remove those. So this is my own personal preference. You can stop watching the video right here if you don't care about the black bars on the side. But if you want to get it to take the black bars out, here's how I do it. Now, I can't stretch out this video because then it's going to mess up everybody and have them all. It's going to add about 30 or 40 pounds to everybody in the video. And I don't think they would appreciate that. So what I need to do is add something to the background. You can add whatever you want to the background. It could be um, just a picture of... A, a white background, it could be a picture of something else, it could be whatever you want. I'm going to actually do a snapshot of this video and create a picture from that and use that as a background. So I'm just going to leave the playhead here for now. You can move the playhead to wherever you want. And then I'm going to click on the snapshot button. That does is it creates a photo just like this. All right, so it went ahead and opened up a new collection tab and it highlighted the snapshot that it created. So I'm going to left click on the snapshot that it created and drag it down into the timeline underneath the video. Now, I'm not going to be able to see it because it's the exact same size and everything as this video above it. So I'm going to stretch this out so that it's the same length as the video. And now I'm going to right click on the snapshot that was created. Go to open effects editor. And I need to stretch this out so that it fills in the black bars. So I'm going to go to 2D 3D. And I'm going to go to 2D editor advanced. Going to change the preset from default to no preset. And then I'm going to go to size. I'm going to make sure that the padlock is orange. If it's white or gray, click on it and it'll turn orange. And what that does is it makes sure that the horizontal and vertical parameters stay together. So if you change one, the other one will change. I'm going to change this to 200 and hit enter. And now it fills out the whole screen. Now I need to add a blur so that there's a difference between the background and the foreground. So I'm going to go to camera. And I'm going to go to blur. And I'm going to go to Blur Amount. And I'm going to change the horizontal and vertical blur amount to 50. And so now there is a distinct difference between the foreground and the background. And I'm going to click on OK. And now when I play this, the screen is full, the background is static, it doesn't move, and all the attention is really on the video because that's the part that has movement and action going on in it, but I don't have any black lines on the side of my video. And that's that, people. Now you know how to rotate videos in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. All right, guys, you know the routine, the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Show that thumb some love. Comments. Leave me your comments. I'll try to help you out. If I can't help you out, I'll point you in the right direction and get you the help that you need. And if you want to get more Pinnacle Studio goodness on a regular basis, you have to subscribe. If you don't subscribe to the channel, you won't know when I upload new videos and you'll be missing out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.